Hello, what's up YouTube? In this tutorial, I'll show you the difference between eye whitening and eye brightening and the relationship between eye whitening and eye brightening. And if at all, one of these two techniques can exist without another. And I will also want to show you how you can easily save your action for eye whitening in Photoshop. So this is basically for people that may not be finding the use of the adjustment brush in camera to do the eye whitening in camera and those that don't have camera as a plugin to do skin retouching and do those adjustments on the eyes in Photoshop so this is it and I just want to show you the difference between those two eye whitening and eye brightening and how or if at all any of these two can exist without another and how they are really related and how they come into work together so right now this is the image you're going to be using today in this tutorial and I just want to show you how you can brighten eyes in Photoshop and also how you can whiten eyes in Photoshop and how we can combine both to have the best out of the eye whitening process in Photoshop. So for eye brightening basically we are just looking at the eye and we just want to brighten specific areas in the white area of the eye to make the eye look better. So I'm just going to zoom in right here. And after creating a stamp visibility, I'm just going to come right here to the adjustments and I'm going to create a curves adjustment layer. So remember, we just want to brighten the eyes. And in order to brighten the eyes, you're just going to come and make a midpoint right here and brighten up that. You can see that looks great. And the eyes are really bright, but it is affecting the overall image. So we just don't want it to affect the overall image. So what we're going to do, with this layer mask selected, we're just going to hit Ctrl Command I on the keyboard to invert or hide the effect. Remember, in Photoshop, white reveals and black hides. That's why it has been able to hide the effect from affecting the overall image. So, remember, we just want to reveal. Remember, white is going to reveal. So, I'm just going to first of all rename this to I brightening so that we can compare this later on so brightening so what i'm going to do, i'm just going to select the black layer mask and come under the brushes simply right click and get a soft round brush the settings right here it is the hardness at zero opacity at a hundred and the flow at a hundred percent so just come and measure white is on top right here or you can reset by clicking on these two small boxes to get white on top you can use x on the keyboard toggle between black and white so make sure white is on top right here i'm just going to paint using a white brush on the white area of the eye to brighten the eye so i'm just going to come and paint just like that to brighten the eye or make it brighter so i'm just going to paint in just like that to brighten the white area in the eye so i'm just going to use the space bar left click and move to a second eye and just whiten the eye just like that so basically I'm trying to brighten the eyes and you can see brightening is more of playing uh, with the how the eyes are really exposed in the image so that is the eye whitening and that's the before eye, eye brightening rather and that is the after eye brightening before after so when you're doing eye brightening we just be making the eyes look brighter so now we just want to see eye whitening in Photoshop. I'm just going to turn off this and come down here. So with the eye whitening, we just want to make the white area of the eye look white in color. So for this case, I'm just going to come down here. And I'm going to come to photo filter right here. And under this, I'm just going to come and create a cooling filter 82 and what this does it tends to create another layer or it adds a cooling filter onto the overall image right there so usually you can as well take the temperature or make it look a little bit more blue so at around 27 we are good to go like we did for the first case, we're just going to invert or hide the effect from affecting the overall image. So I'm just going to come right to this white layer mask and hit Ctrl or Command I on the keyboard. 
and I'm going to name this by double clicking to I whitening. So I'm just going to come and click on the black layer mask with white on the foreground using a brush, a soft round brush. I'll pass that 100% and a flat 100%. I'm just going to zoom in and apply my whitening filter to the white area of the eye just like that. I'm just going to paint through just like that to do the whitening of the eye. And later on, I just want to show you one other technique that may make your image look quite better. So in this case, we are just basically trying to whiten the eye and not brighten the eye. I'm just going to click right there and paint through just like that. So I just want to see the difference between these two. Remember, initially we had eye, we had eye brightening and now we are doing eye whitening. So this is the before and the after. Let me just zoom in a little bit. For the eye whitening, you can see the eye gets white. And when you feel like the intensity is too much, you can come and turn down the opacity for the eye whitening. And this is the before and after for the eye brightening. So brightening just makes the white area brighter. And whitening is going to just make it white. But there are those cases whereby you have, let me try to zoom in, when you just white in the eye, there are those cases whereby you have those other random colors within the white area of the eye. So that is where we have to combine these two techniques to have the best out of the image. And when we combine both, we can be able to add one final adjustment that is going to make the image look a little bit better or look better in this case. So... In order to make it look better, we're just going to come and add a hue saturation layer to uh, the eye whitening and the brightening to make or have the base out of the eye and the eye brightening and eye whitening in Photoshop. So what we just want to do, we're just going to delete these two and I just wanted to show you the relationship between those two. So in order to create your action for eye and teeth, whitening in Photoshop. We're just going to be compi combining rather the eye whitening and the eye brightening and also add one final ingredient to the photo. So I'm just going to come to my actions and I'm just going to close this. So under actions, if at all you don't have actions right here, you can come to window and you come to actions and you're going to have your action window open. So in order to create your action, I'm just going to come to the folder icon. So make sure you click on it. I'm just going to name this to eyes and teeth, just like there. So I'm just going to, so before you record your action, always make sure that you put it in a set or a group and hit OK. And you can see our group has been selected or created. So in order to record the action, just come and click on this plus icon. And when you click on it, you're just going to come and you can name this to I'm just going to name this eyes tutorial because I have so many actions within my eyes tutorial. So after doing that, I'm just going to come and hit record. You can as well assign a color or a shortcut for that. And I'm, I'm just not going to work with that. Just going to come and hit OK and the record button is going to be activated. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to first of all create our curves adjustment layer to do a little bit of the brightening so I'm just going to come right here adjustments and come to the curves adjustment layer click right in the middle and slightly brighten up so don't take it all the way up because the eyes may look unnatural so just brighten slightly and after doing that we're just going to come back to our photo filter just come to photo filter and you come to our calling filter 82 and that is going to add a bluish feel to the photo. So I'm just going to slightly reduce that. And after that, I'm just going to add one more hue, saturation, and luminance slider, just like that, or layer. And after doing that, I'm just going to take the saturation down. So just take the saturation down to affect the other colors that may be existing within the eyes. 
So I'm just going to take it down to around negative 59. And after doing all this, I'm going to put this in a group. So hold down Command and click on all the layers. And hit Ctrl or Command G on the keyboard to put this in a group. And after doing this, what I want to do, I'm just going to come to this and create a layer mask. So I'm just going to hold down Alternate on the keyboard to create an inverted layer mask on this group. So you can rename this group to I, I and Teeth. So I'm just going to hold down Alternate on the keyboard and click on this layer mask icon. So Alternate and click and it's going to invert everything from affecting the overall image. So right now the action has been created and it is really active. So I'm just going to come the brushes. Remember I've been recording the action so Remember to come back to the Actions panel and you stop recording the action. So right now it has inverted or created for us that black layer mask and we're just going through. So the action has been recorded successfully. So after that, just come and get a soft round brush with white on top right here. Make sure you and the flat 100% and just come and paint in those eyes so i'm just going to come and start painting within the eyes of the model to whiten them just like that i hope you can see it is really a natural way and it is not making the eyes look blue in color so this is going to be a more natural way to whiten eyes in photoshop so i'm just going to whiten the eyes just like that and you can see we are doing eye whitening and not making the eyes look blue instead. So just going to do this. And I'm just going to paint in those areas to do the eye whitening better. And if at all you paint in an area that you don't want to affect in the image, you can simply switch your brush to black and simply erase the effect from affecting those other areas you don't want to be affected so let's look at the before and after for the eye whitening i'm just going to whiten here slightly so that's the before and after before after before and after i hope you can see and you really love uh, the results from this so basically this is how to do your eye and teeth whitening and if at all you just want to use an action you can as well delete this and come to the actions and simply play our eyes tutorial action and after that just get a white brush and simply start painting to do the eye whitening so basically this is more of shedding light between eye whitening and eye brightening and the relationship between the two techniques and how best you can record your action to do the eye whitening in the photos within a short time by using and action so this is it for today's story and if at all you love this don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all i've been watching and you're to subscribe this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating